Hey guys, Maven here. Now, by far, one of the coolest things about being a WWE wrestler is being in a video game. So today's video, we're gonna talk all about what it takes to be put into a wrestling game. I'm gonna show you how they pick the wrestlers, how they get you scanned for the game, and obviously, you know, I'm gonna talk about how much money we made. So, hey, looks like it's time to play the game. So the natural way to start this video is to actually look at the first and quite possibly only video game I was in, which doesn't rub me the wrong way one bit. Smackdown, shut your mouth. This was a game made by Jack Pacific. Now, I don't know the, all the nuts and bolts of how they make all this possible, but what I do know is my experience. The day I got scanned for the game. It was early in my career. We were in Los Angeles, obviously the home offices for Jack Pacific at the time. We were at a TV taping for Smackdown and Devon comes up to me and tells me after catering, he's like, listen, at some point today, someone from Jack Pacific is going to grab you. They're gonna tell you they need you to scan you. He said, I don't care what you're doing, unless you're talking with Vince at that moment, drop everything and go, go with them. I didn't know exactly why he was telling me that, but I would find out later what he meant. And true to his word, someone from Jack Pacific came, grabbed me, it was almost like they had a checklist of wrestlers that they had never scanned before. They asked me if I had time to go with them to get scanned for the video game and the action figure. I, of course, said absolutely, and off I went. So we walked out of the arena. It was the Staples Center at the time. And behind the arena, where they have all the trucks, the WWE has truck after truck after truck. And that's, you know, the production trucks. That's where the truck that Kevin Dunn sits in. Now, Jack Pacific had their own truck. I remember walking up the steps and inside there was a big cylinder tube, almost kind of like a stand-up tanning bed. And there were cameras mounted all over this. So I had to get in my wrestling gear and in the tube I went. Now, the scanning process because, and this was over 20 years ago and you know, Games have gotten so much more advanced now, but the scanning process even then still took about two hours. So for two straight hours, I had to stand in a few positions. Let me show you which ones. Position one, I had to stand just like this. Position two, I had to stand with my hands straight down. They obviously had to do the reverse. And the whole time this was going on, they, every camera in that tube was capturing every aspect of my body. And the last position, they had to get my face. Now, when they scanned my face, they, they said, do you have a look? Do you make a face? Do you do anything? Obviously, Rock had the eyebrow. All I had at the time <laughs> was, a, was a smirk. <laughs> and so the last half of my scanning, being scanned for the video game was me just standing you know, with a smirk, which, I mean, at the time I was a baby face, a good guy, so would would play a lot better once I became a heel. But, I mean, I didn't know what to do. They were saying, do you have a look? I don't know, here, here's, here's something. Remember, this was early in my career, so I was still extremely new, extremely green with the process. So after a two hour scan, what are the end results? Let's take a look at it. The day this game came out, I was at the store, I did buy a copy, and I immediately went home and put it in. It was, it was the coolest feeling to put it in, to not only see myself on a video game, but to hear my entrance music, to see the walk that they had for me. Now, being that I wasn't good at video games, I would always play as The Rock. I would have me be the computer, so naturally, in the video game, I was beating the rock. Now, that was never gonna happen, but kid can dream. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't take me out of this game. I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't recall every copy and then take me out. Ah, there I am. Oh my gosh, look at, <laughs> wow. I look so young. 
How about this? I'll play against Randy Orton. It has seriously been over 20 years since I since I played this game, so please don't make fun that I'm I'm this bad. On the way to the ring from Charlottesville, Virginia, weighing 225 pounds, Maven. They had me coming out to beautiful people. I forgot that. I read all the comments, and I've actually seen them for years. How people always say, "Oh, Randy kicking me." How. People always say I'm like I remind them of the generic <laughs> build a wrestler in video games. That always makes me laugh. Now Randy with a roll up one, two. Ah, Maven with the heart of a line getting the kick out. Now you're seeing exactly why I would play. I would play as the Rock and then have me be the computer because I just absolutely suck. Oh, Randy stealing Jericho's walls. Walls of Jericho. Did I say, did I give up? I suck. <laughs> There's pretty much my career right there in a nutshell. <laughs> if art imitates reality, that's probably about as good of a wrestler as I was too. <laughs> Actually, let me try something. Let me go to in-game options. Well, there's what the problem was. Difficulty was set on normal. No, let's try it on easy. There we go. One of my favorite guys to, to wrestle was Billy Gunn. Let's use Billy. Now, while Billy's future ass kicking gets loaded up. I always get asked, how do you get paid for being in a video game? What's the payment like? I would quickly find, once I got my royalty payment, why Devon was so adamant about me going with whoever from Jack Pacific would come. The very first time you get scanned to be a video game character, to be an action figure, you're going to get a royalty payment. And this was a very good royalty payment, which I will fill you in on later in this video. They're pretty much buying your rights. And it's basically your rights to be used not only in this game, but in subsequent games in the future. So once Jack Specific had me, had my rights, they could use me in every game. If they put 10 games out the following year in 2003, they could have used me in every one. Now, once Jack Specific has your rights, they're going to actually pay you for every game that you're in moving forward. And granted, it's not going to be as big of a payday as that first one, but for every game moving forward, you're going to get a little bit of something. The Jack Specific rights that they were paying you for that first go round also included action figures, which we'll do on a later video. Anything wrestling at the time went through Jack Specific. Oh my gosh, I just noticed one of the signs, one of the signs has somebody making fun of my eyebrows. Early in my career, I wore the black trunks. I had pretty much the same look my entire run as a baby face. And I remember one time I asked Jeff Hardy, you're constantly coming up with new looks. You're constantly new, you know, new outfits, new ways of painting your face. And when I asked him why he did that, because I mean, I'm, I figured it has to be a hassle constantly coming up with these new looks. He told me this is the reason because every time he changed his look, every time that meant a new action figure, a new video game character. And what would that mean? In essence, more money. Immediately the light went off in my head. And you'll notice in my career, I went from wearing black to, I went to blue, yellow, red, fuchsia, pink. I started wearing as many different color you know, trunks and wrist tape combinations as possible. Why? Because I wanted them to put more stuff out so I could make more monetary and royalties over time. I thank Jeff for that. It was a great idea. It made sense and it actually worked. It put more money in my pocket. Now, let's get to what you really want to know about the money. How much were we making and how much did video games add to our royalty payments? So my royalty payments were anywhere from at the time between $2,000 to let's say $7,000 every quarter. This would be determinant of positioning in the show. Obviously Rock, Jericho, Trish Stratus, Stacey Keebler, Undertaker, obviously they were higher up in the company, so they were making a ton more. And it would obviously depend on how the video game sold. Was it selling good? Was it flying off the shelves? 
If so, you were making more money. For my royalty payments, video games accounted for roughly 20% of those. So if I made 2000 in royalties, I might make 400 of that because of the video games. But again, this, as great as that was, and it was great and I miss it every day, that's not why Devon stopped me in my tracks. That's not why he told me to go with the Jack's Pacific guy when he came my way. That first scan, that very first time they take you off when they're in essence buying your rights, that's the check you want. And that's the check that I still wish I was getting today. I didn't make 10,000. I didn't make 20,000. They paid me $30,000. That was the royalty payment I got for being scanned into the video game. I saw one of the biggest checks I had ever seen with my name on it. Now that you know how much I made for being in a video game, aren't you curious about how much I made for my entire WWE career? If so, click the link above.